I love the cursor. It reminds me of old edutainment games that I used to play as a kid. I have no idea what to expect, as usual. I've seen very little of this game. I saw like the very first rendition of this game, which was like months ago, if not like a year ago. So it's changed a lot since then. Let's start. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> to be honest. Dear Riley, if you are reading this, it means you won't see me again unless it's in the next life. I know this font. Oh, what's this font called? I know this font because I've used it for one of my games <laughs> in the past. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you my house in Kensdale. To bequeath to you. Bequeath. I love that word. Bequeath. This next part may be a mistake and gods forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe, my dear. With you always, Aunt Kate. <laughs> what? It may be a mistake, but I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> there's no turning back. I know there's no turning back. This might be a mistake, but I know there's no turning back. Here, my dear. Watch these tapes and be cursed forever. Thanks, Kate. I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> oh! Alright, well then, see you in hell, Auntie. Oh no, am I gonna have to, like, walk around? I don't wanna have to walk around. Is she gonna, like, appear behind me and stuff? Ew! Ugh, can I interact with things? What do you think this is gonna be? I wonder if I can guess it right away. Molg. That's what it is. Okay, we'll have to come back to that some other time. Maybe it's not even supposed to be a word. Maybe it's just a random combination of letters. Oh? It's like Resident Evil. It's a clock puzzle. What's this? Okay. Oh, what the heck? I don't like the creaking. There's a bunch of symbols. Oh no. Well, I shall ignore those for now. What's this? Okay, safe with a three number combination. Ooh, fruit, can I eat it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't. This is an oven, I guess. What's this, can I read any of this? No? Okay. 3.45 a.m. Why are we in the spooky attic this early in the morning? Why couldn't we just come here when, uh, when it's bright out? What's wrong with you? Maybe we deserve to die. Okay, more numbers. Um, oh. Don't be a stranger. I'm your neighbor. New. I can't see. Lab something. Only one something. Certificate. Catherine Park for dedication and achievement in the field of children's library services. The building is still there. Too risky to investigate. When did it change? Energy transfer would see sigils. TR investigating. Potential for dynakinesis. School records. Behavioral complaints. Make appointment to review cold cases. Disappearances. What is she? Oh, hello there. Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down. But don't tell him I told you that. I can't wait to see you summer vacation. Love, Riley. Oh, goodness. There's a lot to read here. Dear Miss Park. I I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again, to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts and eventually killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street, that some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it, and I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research you do, the kind that normal people don't do. I don't know, maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. He used to watch that show, you know. It was really sweet at first. I remember that you even used to tell families with younger kids to watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. And then it just got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most of the people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do. Not at the library, the other kind of work. 
They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was here. Can we meet and talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me. Sincerely, Joanne Cook. It's on his desk. Oh, that's what I was just reading. Okay, I see. That was um, that was the intro letter. The one where she was like, ah, it might be a mistake, but here you go. I'm going to curse you anyway because I hate you secretly. You are creepy and you are going to move. I can feel it. You're going to try to kill me or something. Can I put other ones here and they will grow and it will turn into pretty flowers? <gasps> Show me. So if I put like all of them there, if I just get some, what if I just yeet us? Oh, that did not work out. What the heck? Wait, why are you? Okay, I'm gonna just put that there. Oh shit. It actually grew. I'm gonna do that with every single flower before we even start watching the tapes. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be puzzle related. But I'm just doing it early because I don't have patience. All right, now we have all the flowers. I don't know for what reason, but we got them. Okay, in the kitchen, let's watch the tape. Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And we I'm got matching Louie. hair almost. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. Oh, I love My apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. Peach is nice, too. What's your favorite kind of pie? Um, a rhubarb. Mm, Fuck. That sounds delicious. Rhubarb. Today, <laughs> we're going to make an apple pie. You said. First, we need to cut the apples. Okay. Mm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? A knife! Oh, no! Good job! We Thank can you. use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't <laughs> think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> that I'm by doesn't myself. seem safe. Okay, Willie. Let's Wooly. cut the gap. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. Yay! We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Pantry! Where was the pantry? Fudge. Why am I not swearing? I don't know. Is this, this is, where's the, ah, pantry. Wait, let's make a pie. I'm smart. Mm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? No. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. Okay. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, okay. preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Four, two, five. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Four, two, five, 40. Four, two, five, Our 40. Pie is ready. Four, two, five, 40. I can't wait to eat it. Willie, let's have some pie. Four, twenty-five, forty. Four, twenty-five. Four, twenty-five, forty. Four, twenty-five, forty. Oh, hey, you moved to the table. I thought you would just stay here. Okay, well, that's convenient. Thank you. There's an apple over there. Um... Can I just use this apple, though? Or do I need to use... Because that's a plastic apple. Does it matter? Or maybe... No, this is a peach. <gasps> we can make a peach pie! Because that's Wooly's favorite. What if I make a peach pie? Is she going to kill me? Is she going to kill me? I'm going to make a peach pie. 425. 40. I'm going to make a peach pie. Because I prefer the sheep. Not that pie. <laughs> Try to make a peach pie. Oh, I got a tape though. Okay. Okay, well that's cool. I will watch this tape first. And then I'll resume the apple pie baking. Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. Well, I Come on, Lauren. We have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I had. <sighs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. And we need to talk about some new TV rules. <sighs> you know what, hold on. 
Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey, we got cake and ice cream. We got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby. We can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Lauren? Mm, Lauren? I love mint chocolate chip. Do you now? Me too. I love mint chocolate chip. Any mint chocolate chip haters? I don't care. Don't tell me. Apple pie. Let's do it. Okay. Pie flavored. Bake the pie. I did bake a pie. In your neighborhood. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? The bakery, easily. I love That's great! Treats. I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, -B I want to send something special to my friends. C -B -F. First, C -B -F. I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Okay. Do you know where the store is? It's over here! Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. Okay. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Um... This one. Great! I found the perfect that card! One. Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. Yeah. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. <laughs> oh, I'll give Where you a special treat. Where can I buy tea. a treat for my friend? Bakery! Good job! Let's I go get that treat! I want a treat. Mmm. Everything smells so good. <sighs> I want to buy my friend some... Buy my friend some cookies. What was that? Can you show me where the cookies are? Can you show me what was just on screen? These are cookies. Those look so tasty! We just yeah. have one more stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. People have they died all over this place. Far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Why is he Let's like? Let's send this shouldn't... package to my friend. Their name is. Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? I don't know. Let's just put... It's Lynn's birthday today, Lynn. Happy birthday in chat. <laughs> so let's send no, it to Lynn. that's not my friend's name. Oh, God damn it, Lynn. You're not Amanda's friend. Okay, do I? I don't know. Jinx is going to work. You have to know their name. What's the name of our auntie? Kate, that's her name. That's the auntie's name. Is that it? Great work. Oh. Now we can send this to my friend. Okay. I hope she likes the cookies. So now I'm gonna get the cookies. They're gonna be physically in my attic, right? Cookies. CBF is what I said, right? CBF. Oh no, accidents. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it? That sounds like a fun tape. Let's watch it. Oh, it's you. Yeah, What Whatever hi. you do, don't... <laughs> oh no, Wooly had an accident. Sure an he accident did. accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can 
can get hurt almost everywhere. <laughs> At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. 3.45. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? 3.45 on his knee. That's right. Wooly hurt his knee. 3.45. Parent? <laughs> Nurse? Doctor? Doctor? Let's take okay. Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? 3.45. Can I change this? Um, the bone breaking person. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. He's like done with her shit. He's like, Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going? The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. <laughs> like, Which no. tool can we use oh, to check Willy. Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? The x-ray machine. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bones. Okay. Uh. Well, okay then. 3:45. Ah, what's that? This is new. Tick tock, tick tock. Catching up with Sam. No, I want to. Oh, I wanted to read it. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Sam Colton wasn't expecting to be a father to a town icon, but last summer it became clear that his public access series and Mana the Adventure and its title character were something very special for the self professed struggling writer. It all started with his adopted daughter and a new outlook on life. Recently, I caught up with Sam over a stack of the Sunflower Diners famous strawberry banana pancakes. Yum. We chatted about the value of imagination, everyday adventures, and what the future may have in store for Amanda. Not a day goes by when my kiddos aren't talking about Amanda and her adventures. Did you ever dream that this little show would be a big hit? Little show is right, isn't it? But I think there's something elegant in simplicity. We may not have the budget for a big production, but I truly believe there's a soul that transcends that. I'm humbled by the way the town has embraced my something. I really am. There's a soul that transcends that? Sure there is, buddy. What? Oh, this is what I need. There we go. Oh, I need that for here. Where the big clock go? Oh no, it's right here. I'm just being stupid. It's right here. <laughs> I thought it was like over here. That was me being silly. So 3.45? 3... And it's 345 here too! Come on, buddy. 345, yeah. Hi. This is great. Well, this is also 345. Yeah. So now what? All of them are on 345. Are they not supposed to be? Or I'm missing something? Let's take Wooly. Come on! Let's get. Oh That's shit! Right. 2250. Look at Wooly's Wait! 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 Three forty-five. Aha. Six twenty. Come on. Six twenty. Twenty-two fifty. Six twenty. Twenty-two fifty. Six twenty. Twenty-two fifty. Okay, so which one is gonna be which then? Because we have this one, we have that one, and we have this one. Does it matter? Ten fifty is what I said, right? Hey, what if this is 620 then? I could try it, I guess. Not that one. Okay, what if I try this one? Maybe? Hey, Poggies. 515, okay. 515. 515. Aha! And then I put 515 here. Here we go. A26 for the safe. A26. Where is the safe? Where the safe go? A26. Okay. I might just have to remember that, I guess, for when it decides to come back to me. Everything rots. Oh, well, that sounds lovely, doesn't it? Let's watch. That's great. Hi, Ken. 
I'm Amanda. I know. And I'm Wooly. I know. It's such a nice day for a picnic. Yay. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? I like... Oh, I don't like that at all. I didn't even oh, say... Amanda, what's that <sighs> smell? I've never smelled anything like that. I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? You farted. I'll just pick the apples. No, that looks fine. Okay, I don't know. Are you doing this on purpose? No, I literally have no idea. You, you're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. Was that a sandwich? I, this or was tree it stump is rotting too. Oh, okay. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Unalive! Ha! That's right! Okay. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Thank you. Pets can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Yeah. Animals I like can Wooly. die in different ways too. No, I don't even know Look what animal that is. Poor Mr. Fox. Oh, it's a fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? You. The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? You did, girl. We know it was you, Amanda. Look at that indifferent face. I guess the berries, because it's right by the bush. I don't I think that was it. Okay, well then, the knife? No, it wasn't that. Well then, the gun? Look at his funny stuff. He's silly. So what silly. What killed him? I don't know, the gun? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? What am I supposed to press? It was the ugly old bear trap. Oh, okay. Mr. Fox <laughs> didn't even know what, what is this, Resident Evil? Until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. I rule. So many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Yeah. Sometimes I feel myself. Rotting. Rotting. I, it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer Be nice my question. to him. You don't have to answer that. Uh, no. See? Everything is fine. <laughs> Suck it. It's all fun. Yeah, let's go, Wooly. Girl, get the fuck out of my. Well, that's nice. Screenshot. <laughs> I screenshotted the heck out of that. Why did I die? Just because I said no? Where's the... Oh, the safe is here now. 826, wasn't it? Can I... Can I input this now? 826. 826. Another tape? Oh, never mind then. Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac, yellow. Okay, cool. Potato is a color? <gasps> it's my favorite color. What's this? No, this pause button looks like it goes here. Well, it does not. I'll just leave it here for now. Okay, let me place this over here. What do I need this for though? Do I have to redo all of them now? Oh, right, because I died. Right, so you have to restart now. Do I need to remember this? 1503.25. Look at the sticker. It's cool. 1503.25. Can I do anything here? Oh, yeah, I need batteries. I need batteries. I don't have any batteries. Is this where I said no and uh, she was not happy about it? I'll say yes That's then. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this still gonna happen? Oh, uh, it still happens. I'm thinking if there's a different way for me to get a tape. Knife! Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, what was I that? Don't think we're Did you see that? Yeah, see? 
We can use a sharp knife. Pause uh, and then, okay. I, I need to be able to put it somewhere, but I have no idea. Maybe, oh, can I put it here? Can I like connect it to this? Oh, shit. Knife. Good. <laughs> That's demonic. Hey, girl. Like, can I just... Why did you move? Oh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. I, I think... Okay. Cheese! <gasps> I love cheese. Meat pie. Oh, no. Potato mushroom meat. Where do I get meat? Where do I get meat? Uh, well, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I see what we must do. Oh God. Preheat the oven to 525 Fahrenheit. 525. Napai tin mixed meat, potato, and mushroom. How do I get potato now again? Let's see. Potato is the moon. The crescent moon. So put that there. Let it grow. Grab a mushroom. Mmm. Mushroom pie. Bake for 50 minutes. That's an awfully long time. Here's the potato. Do I just put the entire thing in the... I guess so. Rodent recycling. Waste not, want not. That's pretty nasty. Aha! Uh -huh. In your neighborhood. Again? Is it a different in your neighborhood? Hi there! I'm Amanda! It is! And I'm Lily! Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great! Oh, I like so that sad. there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. Okay. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? This. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card. My friend... Something... Bad happened. What happened? What kind oh. of card should I send them? That's not the right card. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Happy birthday! Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to <laughs> no, give my a little friend bully. a special treat! Where can I buy a treat for my friend? In the treat well, store! I know. Let's get them some nice candy! Do you know where the candy store is? Here! Great! Look, why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store! I did nothing! I don't know where to go! Can you help me? Here! Don't do that! I did nothing! Oh my god, I don't want to go there! I don't! Bye! I'll just leave then. I'm gonna force you to walk in that store, young lady. Unfortunately. I said I don't wanna go in there! Yeah, but what am I- what am I- what- I, How's that my problem? No! Why is this happening? Can I press literally anything else? No? Okay. Sorry, no! girly! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. Maybe you can take us someplace else? 
I want to get my friend a special treat. How about you give them this guy? He seems nice. <laughs> like that I could pick Wooly. I want to get my friend a special treat! Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda. That's... That's a nice birthday card. Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? Oh, Wooly, it's your birthday! Yay! It is Wooly's birthday. What do I do with that information? Oh, there's some stuff here. Okay. Where? We tried to? We went? You took me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. Why did I do that? Is that it? Because that's like, we went to the store. We wanted to go to the candy shop. And then we went to the meat store. We went to the shop. Wanted to go to the candy and went to meat. Guts! What does that say? I don't know. Okay. That's, that's lovely, I think. That's beautiful. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a symbol. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yellow. That's that upside down. Is that what I was supposed to get? Could be. I guess it is. No, purple. No, what the fuck? Where's yellow? Oh, is that the one that's already there, perhaps? No, that's not it either. Am I missing a pot? Oh, Guts is for one of the locked- Ah, I didn't realize that this was a- It's a padlock. Guts has got to be one of the codes. Is it this one? Aha! There we go. Hey, Crayon cutter. Found the scissors. Oh, I see. What do I do with these? Oh, the doll moved. Well, that's gross. So I'm gonna have to, like, die, I guess. Because she's probably gone now. And then cut her little head off. How great. Let's watch the tape I got. What's a family? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Bah. Wooly just made an animal sound. He, he said did. bah because he is a sheep. He is. Can you make a sound <laughs> no, like a like, sheep? No, he's like, no, I'm not. That's great. <laughs> you sound <laughs> just <laughs> like Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I didn't even do anything. Yeah. yeah. You sound just like me. Severe thunderstorm warning. Hey! Yoink. So I want it to land on Thunderstorm. Exactly. Okay. Recommended that you stop and check your environment for any potential hazards. During the effective At a warning. petting oh. zoo. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different and they don't talk like people. Look how Wooly so Amanda, offended. I'm an animal and I. Animals don't talk, silly. Oh, I don't offend you. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, <laughs> meh, meh. A chicken says, buck, 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 buck. A pig says, blink. Piggy. Fun. Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal family. I want to see the chicken. Can you show me where the chickens are? Okay. They're here. Great! Let's go see those silly chickens. Yay! Oh, cute <laughs> Oh Having no! A family is nice. <laughs> but I like I, I want him to speak. Chicken and speak his mind. Chickens, and I see I see a daddy chicken. 
Look at the chicken. Aww. Do you know what the daddy is called? <laughs> ah, rooster. The daddy is called a rooster. A rooster. A hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mummies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Sheep? Okay, let's go. No, Wooly doesn't Look wanna. At the nice sheep family. I'm sorry, Wooly. All the sheep are right where they belong. Where's Wooly then? <laughs> oh no. Blizzard warning. Let's see if we can get a blizzard. Is this a blizzard up top, perhapsies? Am I not allowed? Let's keep watching. Kitty. Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It <laughs> looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? Sad. Lonely. Alone. That's kitten what you want me to alone. say. There is no one to help her. You can help her. Will you help the lonely kitten? Yeah. Sure. Should I not have said that? Okay, I should not have said that, I guess. She's happy about it. I don't mean you, I mean an actual kitten. I don't want to help you. Oh, God. What if I put no, then? No, that's not what they're called. Try... Yes, it is! Tornado warning. Because Krauser takes us by storm. Yeah, that makes sense. I get it. Okay, so now I need to get the blizzard warning. I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> what if can I don't you do tell that? Tell me where we can find the sheep? What if I pick the spiders? Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. What about the? What is that? A snake? I don't want to go near. Flooding warning. Oh, it actually was. Tonight's forecast. Okay. Well, I, I didn't think it was. I thought I needed to get Blizzard again, but that's cool. Everything rots. Oh, we're back with everything rots. That's gotta be a different one then. Hi again. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Yes. What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? The sandwich again. Ye you! You're Ye right! you! You know what the opposite of alive is? Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Thanks! When an animal dies, it rots too. Uh huh. It looks oh, like kid. this kid is in big trouble. Oh no. It might die before anyone can help it. Then help it. Should we help the kitten? Of course. Is there a bear trap? Oh, okay, it's just a regular trap. Look at, look at the poor, look at Wooly. Oh, dang! A fateful end. Neat. A tragic end. Har, 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 har. Funny. I'm meat now. But why? Wait, I can cut open the doll. Yellow. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, is that a battery? <gasps> it's two batteries. Perfect. Here I was wondering where they would be. Hello, I am Blackboard. I think this is going to be fun. I don't think so anymore. What was the number I needed? <laughs> that was like this long ass number that I had. Four, five, zero, three. Life is not just a series of zeros and ones. Four, Unless I put five, in the whole thing. Zero, three, two, five. Yes. But where did you find that? 
I don't even remember how I found that. Oh yeah, we got a new sticker now. Let me try what's the family again and just not help the kitten. No. Please help the lonely kitten. No. Won't you help the lonely kitten? No. Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? So that's another way you can die, I assume. I'm sorry I didn't help the lonely kitten. Oh, hey, there's an extra. <gasps> this was here all this time and I didn't even know. I needed that for something. Let me go water it a little bit. I'm not so sure about the plant thing. You have some significance, little flower. I just do not know what yet. Do I need to load back in so the doll is here again? Let me die real quick so that I can uh, get the doll back. There we go. Pretty flower for the Thank dog. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. Oh. I got a surprise for you. I don't want a surprise. Turn around. What if I don't do that? Okay, I'll turn around. Oh, let's watch the tape. <laughs> I'm quiet. I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to like decipher what they're talking about or doing. Okay, let me input this again. Yes, but where did you find that? How did I find that? It was just by playing it normally, right? Let's go to the star. Let's. Yeah, right there, Blabot. See? I found it right here. Do I need to input it again? Send my condolences to Kate. Okay. Why does it look like this now? So I send her a condolences type card? I don't want to play anymore right now. Well, you're gonna have to. Oh. Happy birthday! Oh, this is delicious. Congratulations, you're one year older. Wishing you the bestest year yet. 0882. Is it 081821? 081821 
the candle. May your year be filled with many blessings. Love, Blabot. Thank you, Blabot. 442130. What's in the card is in the cake. So if I have this code and I switch out because there's two candles, what if where there's a candle, it's the number two instead? I can nope. tell that you are crying. Yeah, thanks, man. What if I do the same with this card? So two times four is eight. eight. Five minus two is three. three. Two times two is four, plus one is five. five. And that's one. one. Two plus two plus two is six. six. And then one. one. Oh, oops. C, C, D, C, F, E. Yay! Candle! Happy birthday nah. Goodbye. <laughs> I hate when people sing happy birthday to me. Can you not? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Please stop. Oh no, accidents. Again. Let's see. I don't have much time. Mm -hmm. Do you trust me? Yeah. Yes. Lily! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! No, you can't. Lily had an accident. When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But <laughs> so we can shocked. try. No, Amanda. I I'm fine. I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused. We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? His heart. He's so sad. Nothing. Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could <laughs> be wrong? I don't... His head? Wooly's head is broken. But <laughs> Dr. Amanda is here to help. Oh god. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Willie, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Willie? Amanda, I feel, uh... She drugged him. The Wooly! We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. Excuse me? What tool should we That's use not... to fix Willie's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? How about none? I assume they want me to saw his head open. That might be helpful, but what else could okay. we use? Things could get really messy if we use that. Okay, so we just smack him with the hammer. That looks hard to use, well, well, what but do you I want can try. From me? Oh. What do you want from me then? <laughs> I tricked you! Oh. We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy. I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! Stop! Who are you going to help? Wooly, of course. Oh. Does that mean I'm helping him or attacking him? I feel like You're it's probably not going a. To help me? Oh. Okay. So I, I can do this by myself. No way! Wooly, no! I guess I'll watch it. Riley's favorite movie. I'm oh. Wooly. Hi! Trap door treat! Trap door? Oh, hi. Okay, there's a tape on there. Cool. Summer 1980. Is that 1989 or 1984? I'm allergic to apple. Oh. How many chair? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many light? How many what? How many? How many chairs? One. I only see one chair, so I'm gonna assume one. Oh, two. This is a second chair. Two chairs. Two chairs. 
How many? How many mushrooms? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, eight. Mushrooms. How many? How many fruit? One, two, three, four, five, and then six, because there's a peach in there. Two, eight, six. Fruit. How many light? lights? Okay. One light there. Two. I guess that's it. Two then? Would that be the lock here? So two chairs, eight mushrooms, six fruits, and two lights. Hey! Okay. Anything in the bucket? I want to look in the bucket! Nothing in there. Okay. Right. Four oh one two five eight. Four oh one two. Four oh one two five eight. Can I input that here maybe? Four zero one two five eight. The treasure is in the chest. Obviously. But first you need the key. So how do I open you up then? Do I need to get him wet? Oh! Right? Is that enough? Sorry, Blabot. Let's talk about this. Sorry! I'm sorry. You were really creepy, but I appreciate you. Oh. Well, there goes his head. Let's get this key. It's for the chest, right? Best friend together forever. Excuse me. We can share. No, we don't. Why is everyone's heads coming off? Like the doll, Blabot, mine? Let's watch this tape. Where's Wooly? Hi, I'm Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Yeah. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. Mm -hmm. They can share snacks. Mm -hmm. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Wooly isn't here, so that makes me suspicious. Cheese. Yum, that's my favorite. Okay. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Uh huh. Can I share a secret with you? Yes. Are you sure? It's a big secret. <laughs> I want to kill you. That's her secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? Well, now I don't want you to because you're gonna keep insisting like that. It's just annoying me. Yes! I'm out there. Somewhere. Ah! Somewhere. Well, she's out there, she said, so that probably didn't help, but, I mean, worth a try, right? Oh, and now the weather's just great, and the sun's coming up, and yay! Meet the sunrise! I did it. Cool! Oh, oh that's lit! Nah, dude, there's, there's... 
there's more. There was a bunch of stuff I did not try. Can I share a secret with you? Absolutely not. Oh. I thought you were different. Well, I'm not. Oh. Leave. I mean, I would love to, but... A hollow end made a disappointing end. Okay. This isn't disappointing at all. I don't know what you're talking about. There's one tape in each of these shelves, so I'm assuming I'm missing four tapes. Good job. Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. Aha. Uh -huh. Musical notes. Yay! Beethoven played another song. Yeah. I totally knew how to read cheap music and I did that all on my own. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, mm -hmm. and authorities still have no leads. The creator of the show. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Mm -hmm. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter Rebecca. As oh. budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Mm -hmm. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. Mm -hmm. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. I mean, it is true. <laughs> it's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. Mm -hmm. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. Not the talking gerbil! Okay, so what was the it's guy's- It's me, your friend, Skip. Hi, and Skip. with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Hi, Chip! Huh. Oh, what was the father's name? When she asks what the daddy rooster is called, what if I input his name? So what if I input Sam? Wait, what did you say? Daddy issues Howdy. a touchy subject. So that was something, but that was just an achievement. So it didn't actually give me anything. Wait. Did I speak too soon? Welcome to Coffee Break. Thanks. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. I want delicious you homemade cookies. can't have a Coffee Break without cookies. That's true, Fika. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. She's like, I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. 
And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so know? rare nowadays for kids shows to be so much fun, mm. but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. Light. Mm -hmm. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the Thanks. conversation sparkling. Are you going to? And you'll see me doing everything else. <laughs> they like didn't even drink the coffee. Okay, so now I'm missing two tapes. Who can help when you are hurting? No one. That's five letters. Nobody can help. You're probably right. The sad truth. Walk it off. Did I get another tape from that? Oh, I did. Purple tape. Purple tape. Better be the best tape. This is the best color. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Bye, left. Bye, man. Pie. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I up. don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... <laughs> One tape left. Where the hell am I gonna find that? Maybe. Why won't you answer my question? <laughs> Maybe. You have to tell me. Maybe. Tell me! <laughs> Don't you want to be my Booby! friend? Please answer my question. No. No! I think it might be too late. Okay. Am I dying? Am I gonna die? I'm dying. Okay. So your aunt died? Wow, that's a great book. Thank you. The Joy of Cooking Sheep. Wow! I never stopped to read these. <laughs> what happens if I just don't do this? I guess I'm dead. Boom, baby! Rip the TV. Sunshine. Oh, hi! What the heck? The end and a new friend. Alright, I'm done. I'm gonna leave it at that. I got all the endings, I think. 
I didn't get the final tape, but that's five out of six. That's good enough. It was a fun game up until I tried to get the final tape, then it wasn't very fun anymore. Otherwise, it was fun.